Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is our second video of Basic Composable. In this video, we will cover a very important concept that is layouts. So we have three types of layouts in Jetpack Compose: column layout, row layout, and box layout. Same way how we used to have linear layout, relative layout, and constraint layout in XML. We will see each one of them one by one. First, create a project. Choose empty activity. Name it as Learn RCB Row Column Box. And done. First, let me remove the default code. And done. Now, here we will have three situations one with the use of column layout. Second, with the use of a row layout and third, with the use of box layout. But before that, let's see what if we don't use any of the layout. Then what will happen? Here, I'll create a new composable function as learn row column box with no parameters and make sure that you call it over here inside the set content. Then inside the compose function, I'll write three text. Hello column, hello row, and hello box. Simple. We have done text composable previously, right? Now let's run the app and see what happens. Look, everything is overlapped on each other. And that's why layouts are important. So let's see our first layout that is column layout. Column layout is like a vertical linear layout. Means one element, then below it another element, and then below it another element, like this way. Got it? I'll come in the previous code. Inside composable function only, I'll write column attribute. And now inside it, I'll write two text as hello column 1 and hello column 2. And that's it. Now again, I'll run the app. And look, both the texts are vertically columned. Similar way, instead of text, you can use any other UI element such as maybe two buttons in a column or two text filled in a column. Got it? Likewise, you can add parameters in it to customize it accordingly. For example, I want both of these text to be horizontally centered and vertically in the middle. So to do that, I'll add parameters here as horizontal alignment is equal to alignment dot center horizontally. And vertical arrangement as arrangement dot center. Now let's run the app and see the applied changes. Look, both of them are vertically and horizontally in the center. Got it? Likewise, you can add any kind of parameters you want, even for the column and also for the text that is present inside the column using modifier. Also, in next video, I'll explain alignment and arrangement in detail. So, if you don't understand these parameters right now, that's okay. Just make sure to watch the next video. This was all about columns. Now, let's move on to rows layout. Rows layout is like horizontal linear layout. Means, UI elements will be beside each other. Not below, not above, but beside each other. Got it? I'll come in the previous code. See, now instead of column, I'll write row. And inside it, both the text as hello row 1 and hello row 2. Simple. Now I'll run the app. And look, both of them are beside each other. So in similar way, if you want two buttons to be beside each other, you can simply go for row layout. Again, we can customize row layout using parameters, same way how we did in column layout. 
Like if I want both of them in center horizontally as well as vertically in the middle, then for that I'll write vertical alignment is equal to alignment dot center vertically and horizontal arrangement is equal to arrangement dot center. Now again let's run the app and look both of them are center and this is what row layout was all about. Moving on to a third layout that is box layout. So column layout means elements will be above or below each other, correct? Row layout means elements will be beside each other, correct? Then box layout means elements will be overlapping or will be on the top of each other. Like imagine there is a card view and on that card view we have a button. So what is happening over here? That button is on the top of card view and that's what box layout is all about. It's like nesting of layouts. See, I'll create a box layout. Then inside it, again I'll create a box layout. And inside it, a text as hello box. Simple. So what is happening here? We will have a box layout as a surface. Then on that box layout, we will have another box. And over that box, we will have a text. Got it? Now again, you can customize it however you want. Like for main box, I'll give the modifier as fill max size. Means it will cover the entire screen. Whose background color will be yellow. And whatever content that will be present in it will be aligned as center. These are the parameters. Then for the second box, I won't cover the entire screen. Instead, I'll create 300 into 300 dp box. So to do that, I'll keep height as 300 dp. And width as 300 dp. Then the box color will be blue. Simple. It might look very confusing, but you will understand it once I run the app. Then next, I'll customize the text as alignment center. Color white. And font size 30 SP. Got it? Now let's run the app. Look, we have an entire screen as yellow, that is parent box layout. Then on the top of it, another blue box. And again on the top of it, we have a text as hello box. Do you see how every element is on the top of each other? And that's what box layout is all about. Make sure you remember all of these terms because we will be using it often. And I guess that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next video.